Hello everyone. So this is part two of the topic average of our UPSC CSAT PYQ series, right? So let's discuss how many question came in which year. And after that, we'll talk about the solution of those questions. So here in 2018, they have asked no question in 2019, two questions in 2020, three questions. And in 2021, one question was there from this topic, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss these six questions. So friends, let's start in first I mean, in 2019, the question was the average marks of 100 students are given to be 40. Okay. It was found later that the marks of one student were 53, which were misread as 83. The corrected mean marks are. Okay. See everyone. The thing is actually the actual marks were 53, but it was misread as 83, right? So if you rectified this error, right, then obviously the you will make it 83, you will make 83 as 53. So this is what this is minus 30, right? So total will be decreased by 30, everyone fine. So if total is decreased by 30, and the total data is of 100 students. So this 30 is distributed equally among 100 students, right? So every student will get minus 0.3, right? So from average, 0.3 will be subtracted and the new average will be 39.7. All right, everyone. The new average is 39.7. All right. Okay. So everyone now let's move to the next question. The next question says a family has two children along with their parents. The average of the weights of the children and their mother. Okay. So children, I mean, a family has two children, right? So child one plus child two plus mother. So average of two child and their, I mean, two children and their mother is 50 kg. So their sum will be what 50 into three, that is 150 kg. So sum of the weights of both the child's and mother is 150 kg, right? So let's say this is equation number one. And the average weights of children and their father is 52 kg. Okay. So sum of the weights of both the two children plus father is 52 into three. That is 156 kg. All right. So if you find the difference, right? Equation number two minus equation number one, this will give you father minus mother is equal to six kg, right? It means what the weight of father is six kg more than the weight of mother. Or you can say the weight of mother is six kg less than the weight of father, right? After that, the question is saying if the weight of father is 60 kg, the weight of father is given as 60 kg. So put the value of weight of father over here. So father minus mother is equal to six. So mother will be 60 minus six, which is 54 kg. All right, everyone. So weight of mother will be 54 kg. Which option is the correct choice? D option is the right choice. All right, everyone. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Next question says the average age of a teacher and three students is 20 years. Okay. If all the three students are of the same age and the difference between the age of a teacher and each student is 20 years. Okay. So let's say we have three students S1, S2, S3 and teacher. So wait, sorry, age of all the students is same. So X, X and X and teacher is X plus 20. Fine. So the average of these four, I mean, three students and one teacher, the average is 20. So 20 into four is 80, right? So it means the sum of the ages of all the three students plus the age of the teacher is equal to 80 years. So just add them four X plus 20 is equal to 80 years. Then four X is equal to 60. This implies X is equal to 15 years, right? So wait, sorry, wait me age of a, of one student is 15 years. So age of the teacher will be what X plus 20. So age of the teacher will be 35 years. All right, everyone. So age of a student is 15 years and age of a teacher is 35 years. So the answer is what they're asking. Then what is the age of the teacher? So age of, of the teacher is 35 years. C option is the correct choice. All right, everyone. Fine. Now let's move to the next question. 
Next question says, in a class, there are three groups, A, B, and C. So inside a class, there are three groups, A, B, and C. If one student from group A and two students from group B are shifted to group C, then what happens to the average weight of the students of the class? See everyone, inside the class, you have three, three groups, right? So inside, I mean, inside the class, one student from group A and two students from group B are shifted to group C. But you know, all the students of a class are there inside the class only. So they are asking what is the average weight of the class? I mean, how the average weight of the class is being impacted by this shifting. So obviously average weight of the class is not being changed. I mean, it remains the same. Fine. So here, which option is the correct choice? C option is the correct choice, right? Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Next question is the average score of a batsman after his 50th innings was 46.4. All right. So from one to 50 innings, his average was 46.4. All right. And then 51 to 60th inning, right? Question is after 60th innings, his average score increased by 2.6. Okay. Then what was the average score in the last 10 innings? Okay, so they are talking about 51st to 60 innings, right? The average of 51, I mean 51st to 60th innings, what is the average score? So after 60 innings, what is the average? 46.4 plus 2.6. So this is 49 runs, right? Okay, so everyone, uh, after 60th inning, the average is 49 runs, right? So in his last 10 innings, he must have scored 49 runs for these 10 innings plus that much extra so that he can contribute 2.6 to these 50 innings, right? So 2.6 to these 50 innings, it means this. So in last 10 innings, his total score must be this much, right? So what is the average? Average is like this number will be divided by 10. So total of last 10 innings will be divided by 10 to find the average, right? So 2.6 into 50, this divided by 10 total runs divided by total number of innings. So obviously this is 49. I mean, 10 can be taken common from the numerator. So this is 2.6 into five. So this is 49 plus 13. That is 62 runs. All right, everyone. So here, which option is the correct choice? C option is the correct choice, right? Okay, now let's move to the next question. Okay, next question is, there are two classes, A and B, having 25 and 30 students respectively. In class A, the highest score is 21 and the lowest score is 17. Okay, so in class A, the highest is 21 and the lowest is 17. Okay, in class B, the highest is 30 and the lowest is 22. All right, four students are shifted from class A to class B. Okay, see everyone. In class A, even the topper is getting the less score than the average of class B. No, sorry, not the average. I mean, even the topper of class A is getting the less score than the last student of cl uh, class B. Fine. So even if four toppers are shifted from class A to class B, they will be actually decreasing the average of class B, right? So consider the following statements. Question is saying, consider the following statements. The average score of class B will definitely decrease. So obviously the average of class B will definitely decrease because in class B, the least score is 22. And from class A, four students are coming. So even the toppers of, I mean, top four candidates of class A is coming to class B. Still, they will be the less than the last student of class B. Fine, so obviously the average of class B is going to be decreased, right? So this statement is definitely correct, correct, right? After that, next statement, the average score of class A will definitely increase. Okay, no, nothing can be said because we don't know which four candidates are going. I mean, if the last four candidates are going from class A, then average will increase. If topper four students, I mean, top four students are uh, going from class A, then average will be decreased. So actually we can't say, we are not definite about this statement. So only first statement is the correct choice, right? One only, right everyone? One only is the correct choice, fine. 
Okay. Friends, now I think the questions are over. Guys, now it is the time to discuss about our offerings. What Unjust offers you guys. So we have some programs related to CSAT only. Right. And let me discuss those programs in detail. So first program is CSAT foundation program. This is actually CSAT foundation program. This is a long term program for CSAT. Right. So those who are targeting like after two years or after one year. So they can join this program. Right. And then CSAT PYQ program. CSAT PYQ program is a very targeted program that we have designed here. We have collected all the questions that came in CSAT from 2011 to 2021. And we have segregated those questions topic wise and concepts wise. Right. So we are discussing all those questions. And obviously, we are discussing the concepts that are coming through those questions in the CSAT examination. Fine. So we have discussed all the concepts through questions. So actually, we are teaching in this program through PYQs only, right? So here you are getting like which type of questions are coming from the, from the certain topic. And moreover, here we have discussed some other dimensions of those questions also. I mean, which type of questions may further asked, I mean, may be asked further related to this topic or a, or a particular topic. Fine. So this is CSAT PYQ program and then CSAT crash course. Those two, I mean, those students who don't have much time or those who have less time, they can join this program. I mean, we have crash course for two months for 50 days or for uh, uh, one month also, right? So you can join according to your availability and your convenience. Fine. And then CSAT weekend batch. This batch we have designed for uh, working professional candidates. Those who don't have time in weekdays, they may join this program, right? It is a very beneficial program for those candidates. Those who are, I mean, those who don't have time in weekdays, basically fine. And then CSAT test series along with the discussion. See everyone, this is again a very good and targeted program that we have designed here. We have, I mean, we have designed the questions which are strictly based on the recent pattern of CSAT. Fine. Because here, obviously, if you compare the paper of last two years from other papers, then you will see the drastic change, right? So obviously, we have designed the questions based on that only. Okay. So this is a very good program. And obviously, the discussion is also very important. Fine. How to tackle the paper, how to eliminate the options. This is actually very important. How to read the question properly, right? So this discussion is also very important. And after that, we have a free program in our Telegram five star question series in Telegram. See everyone, what is this five star Telegram? I mean, five star question series in Telegram. Here, we upload five questions every day in our Telegram channel. Okay. And we discuss those questions sometimes in Telegram and sometimes in our website. Fine. Here, you may take those five questions every day to get the momentum. I mean, till the examination, you may just get connected uh, with the questions for CSAT. Just take five questions every day and uh, I mean, maintain your momentum till the examination. So this is a very, I mean, very beneficial program for the students. So guys, please get benefited out of it, right? Join this program. And let me introduce about our uh, contact details. So friends, we have a telegram channel. The link for the same is telegram slash ungist, right? So this is our telegram channel and our website is ungist.com, right? And if you guys want to talk to us, then we have a very simple number 9613192021, right? Again, 9613192021. It's a very simple and convenient number, right? Easy to learn in fact. And let me tell you something about our classes. So we have offline classes, offline classes we have in ORN, Old Rajinder Nagar, New Delhi, right? So if you want to join our offline classes, you may contact us and you may come to offline classes, which are in ORN, right? And we also have online classes. So online classes, I mean, uh, you just get the link and you may start your lectures, right? Uh, just by contacting us. So friends, so these are the details that I wanted to discuss with you guys, right? And please uh, stay tuned for very good content. We guys are working for you day in, day out, right? And please share these videos with your friends also so that they may also get benefited out of it, right? So thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you. Thank you so much.